Hi everyone, and welcome back to Project Westphalia. Now, I am sitting in our brand new Sven Hedin camper van. This is uh, something I picked up a, a few weeks back, but not really had a time to uh, record videos on. I'm really excited about this van. I think it's gonna be such a quantum leap over the nugget uh, in so many different ways, but there's one fundamental problem with the van. It is filthy. We need a good deep clean on this van before we can use it for our next camping trip. So I need to get all of my uh, cleaning equipment into this van and start giving it a good old scrub. And that'll also give me the opportunity to talk through some of the features that I haven't mentioned on why I think this is a great van. Let's get cracking. <laughs> So let's talk about improvements on the driver's side. First off, a six speed gearbox. I think that is such an upgrade over the Nugget, particularly when cruising. When we're gonna go into Europe where you can go a little bit faster on the motorways, I think that's gonna be really, really useful. Power wise, I think, yes, this is 136 brake horsepower. It's the 2.5 uh, liter model, but this is a bigger, heavier van. So I think really the Nugget would beat it in a 0 to 60 competition. This you definitely feel the weight of this van when you're driving, but it is better in the corners. Uh, I don't know if that's just because of the uh, newer suspension, but it does feel a lot better. Um, the dash binnacle is okay. It's a little bit dim uh, at night times, and I don't know why that is. Uh, it's something I'm gonna to need to investigate. It does have cruise control as standard, which is lovely. I had to pay for an upgrade on the a Nugget to get that. And that's about it. As you can see, it has lots of blanks and more blanks here. So the uh, previous owner clearly skipped every optional extra when it comes to driving. There are no um, automatic wipers. There's no automatic headlights. Um, every bit is skipped here. Now, is that a bad thing? I don't know. Uh, I can think we're adding lightness here, um, which is always nice. Um, cup holder wise, it's not bad, it's not great. So there is a, uh, a cup holder here, um, which is currently Natalie got some silicon uh, spray in there. There is an oddly shaped cup holder here, but it's in a way that when you're driving, let me just get the seat into my driving configuration, that it's just a little bit of a stretch. So I don't tend to use it. And it does have another one here, but, it, does, it feels like there should be a cup holder here. Um, I don't know if that's just because this has got like the smokers pack or something, not sure. It does feel like there should be a second cup holder here because that, that feels much more convenient, but it is what it is. One thing that I didn't mention before is that one thing that's definitely a little bit annoying is the lack of a temperature gauge. Uh, I'll need to put in something extra to make that, uh, make that happen. Uh, but that is definitely annoying. Why wouldn't you have a temperature gauge? Um, it has a very, well, functional aftermarket head unit. This is something I'm definitely going to need to change. One, it doesn't have CarPlay, and I would be really, really like to have that as a feature. It also is really, really old and slow, and the screen is very, very dim. And particularly when uh, looking at the reversing camera, it's very hard to read. Uh, so this needs to be replaced. Um, to give you a understanding of how old this is, it mentions DivX 
up here. Now DivX was an, a, a video encoder way back in the early 2000s. So I think this is probably a head unit from maybe 2004, 2005. Technology has certainly moved on when it comes to in-car entertainment. So this is definitely gonna have to go at some point soon, but can't afford to do that just yet. Otherwise, we've got a bunch of different vents and that sort of stuff, which is quite nice. Um, the glove box storage is all right. It's not huge. Uh, certainly enough for maps and all that sort of stuff. Uh, it would be nice if it was a little bit bigger and a little bit deeper, but it is what it is. Um, other storage wise, which we've not really figured out a use yet, is over the um, both the passenger driver sides. Feels like this would be good for um, documents and that sort of thing. Uh, maybe even wallets, because you've got a little bit of a lip here. And so I think that might be quite nice. And uh, maybe when we're in Europe, we can store all of our sort of documentation that we need about the van, you know, V5s, MOTs, all that sort of jazz. Maybe that can stay up here and be easily accessible. You've got the um, you've got the accessories controller here. Um, you've got both a sensor for the uh, fresh water and the uh, wastewater. Both of them work, which is really, really nice. The one on the nugget, I think, was a little bit broken because this never showed up. Only shows the uh, battery voltage, which is fine. The outside temperature, which is a heady 12 degrees. Now, on the nugget, this is where you would control the heating. You'd have a, a marker here for the heating, but because it's got a separate uh, system in the back, it's not controlled here, which is a little bit annoying, but such is life. But you can control the refrigerator and see what temperature it is, all that sort of stuff. talk about one feature which I'm not entirely sure if it's better or worse than the nugget and that comes down to this bed. Not only does it block a skylight so you're not getting as much light into the cabin uh, particularly in combination with the uh, tinted windows. I think this is a little bit more both easier and more difficult than the nugget. Let me show you why. So to remove it you've got uh, this little pull tab and you pull it out, or you unscrew it first, and then you release this, grab both handles, you pull back, and then you have to, to lift it, which, and then get it into a particular stop. That's not too difficult, and the actual bed size is very, very good. Um, let me just, yeah, the actual bed size, I think is actually really, really good. Plus it does come with the um, two, uh, nets to stop little ones falling out, which the nugget didn't. So that is definitely a good thing. Um, you know, it's a good sized uh, upper bed, but I think the challenging thing is actually putting it back up. So yeah, first of all, you have to support the bed, pull out that tab and that will hang. And then you have to lift up and it's spring activated, but it's not, it's not what I would say light. And then you have to really push it back as much as you can to then make sure that that is in a clip, which um, really means only I can put up the top bed. My wife isn't gonna be uh, tall enough or really strong enough, I'm fortunate to be able to put that up in a secure manner. Uh, so it's nice that it goes away in one. You know, previously with the Nugget, you'd have to um, rearrange all the uh, bedding cushions, then uh, stack them properly, push back the bed, and then lock it away. So it's quicker in, in a sense, but the fact that you have to then kind of fiddle with this, push this against the wall to make sure you can actually lock it in securely, it's just a little bit more fiddly. So fast but fiddly and heavy versus 
uh, an easier one to do that um, both of us could easily put put away. I'm not sure. I think this is probably the only thing I've seen on this fan that is probably worse than the Nugget. Everything else, I think, is, is either the same or better. This upper bed, I'm probably voting no, unfortunately. Uh, but all good camper vans, or any camper vans, I should say, are compromise. And so this is a compromise I'm willing to make uh, in order to get all the benefits that this van offers. Let's talk refrigeration. Uh, this is, uh, although in still needing of a massive clean, this is a much, much larger refrigerator compared to the Nugget. I would say realistically that the Nugget probably had something like that and maybe a little bit smaller um, all the way around. This is a fantastic upgrade. Uh, a, we've got this section here. We've got this natty little storage cage. It's gonna be nice to have uh, the ability to take um, a lot more food with this as we go and not have to spend so much whilst we're out camping. And it also retains the fantastic uh, Westphalia uh, refrigerator lid stand. This really comes in clutch when you're literally um, trying to fill up a, a refrigerator quickly. Uh, really, really, really useful. The Sven Hedin has a range of different cupboards, uh, but also has some really nice additions compared to the Nugget. So let's take up this drawer. It is uh, roughly um, 11 inches deep. So that's 28 centimeters that I can see. But it also has the cutlery drawer as well. So this is, you know, doesn't take any uh, space. It means we can free up other drawers compared to the Nuggets. Um, Really, really useful little addition there. Cooking-wise, uh, similar setup to the Nugget. You've got a two-burner stove, uh, one small, one medium. Very, very similar. There is not a three-stone combination, even though it has this uh, stand, which may be useful. I don't know. Um, I'm not too sure if we'd actually like to have a little burner there as well, but uh, that's not available. It does come up with a small upgrade in that it has ignition. Normally, we'd have to use one of those kind of gas kind of igniter things, and so we don't need to worry about that anymore as well. Sink wise, um, I think I'm gonna replace this because this looks pretty old. Um, so that's a future project. Uh, hopefully it's a pretty easy or as easy a replacement as it would be on the Nugget, fingers crossed. Uh, but dual um, 
cold and hot taps as well, which is nice, a little, little plug. But one extra upgrade is, comes with lights. Uh, we didn't have this um, available or dedicated lights for the cooking area. This is nice, makes it easy to see, no shock there, it's lighting, but it really just helps um, brighten up the area whilst you're cooking. Really, really nice little addition. good sized uh, side drawer and what I particularly like is that the uh, gas cutoff valve is here rather than on the nugget uh, which was buried underneath a, uh, a separate unit. It's nice that that's so easily accessible. Now you should still be turning off your gas at the cylinder if you're doing long distance journeys but for quick trips switching off and isolating it there is really really nice. <laughs> Moving on to the cupboards, uh, so we've got shoe racks all the way down to the sides. Uh, we don't tend to use them for shoes, actually we just use them for things like towels, blankets, that sort of stuff. Got a little storage unit up here and um, the main sort of storage compartment there. I think this shelf is actually gonna be really useful. We didn't have a shelf um, in the nugget in the wardrobe, so that's a really, really useful thing. Also retains the uh, ladder as well, so nice, uh, easy storage for that. Doesn't uh, get in the way or anything like that, which is really, really useful. And up top, we've got uh, another sort of uh, storage area, but this actually has a washing line built into it. So this will hook into uh, the other side of the uh, bathroom area, allowing you to dry things out, which is really, really cool. Moving on to the washroom area. Uh, so we've got a good size little toilet there. That goes into a, a Thetford cassette, which is super easy to remove and clean. Currently the flush does not work. I need to figure out uh, why that is. Uh, for some initial research, it could be down to uh, condensation causing corrosion on the board. I've given that a clean up already. That didn't seem to fix the issue. So I might need to go take this to someone that actually knows what they're doing with the electronics. Getting the shower hooked up, it's just a case of pulling out the tap, then uh, feeding the hose all the way up here. The flow rate is okay. It's not amazing. Um, I don't think there's any It's all right, could be better, could be worse. Um, I don't know if that's just down to the age of the pump, but um, I think that's again, something that I'll be looking at replacing. We've also got a couple of uh, extra storage bins. Depth is okay, it's not too bad. Um, exactly what you need. Sorry, a little light here. Uh, that's controlled by a switch outside. And then you've got these two um, clasps, hangers, I don't know. And that's for that washing line that I mentioned earlier. And a little useful hook for your towels, that sort of stuff. And then up here, we've got a little ventilation as well.
So in the back, um, it's got a, a twin sort of uh, double doors, which is fine. Uh, I do miss the tail tailgate from the Nugget, but hey, such is life. We've got uh, an extra table. This isn't like an official table or anything like that, but again, a little bit useful. Um, we've got the, um, the bar for the wind out awning, which is good. Um, a little bit of storage. We've got an external shower, which is really, really useful for washing out muddy boots, paddle boards, all that sort of stuff. We've got a little bit of a garage. Um, so this goes actually all the way uh, to the almost the sliding door. So we've got our camping chairs and our uh, ramps there, but not huge. It's not gonna give any motorhome run for its money. The Thetford cassette toilet, like I mentioned, and then a good sized uh, drawer. This actually goes probably, probably all the way um, past the shower tray. So we're actually able to fit a huge amount of stuff. Uh, I can't open it fully because I'm backed up against the garage. But again, useful storage as well. And we still have the option of putting the storage unit on the bicycle carry as well, which gave us an extra sort of um, 50 kilograms of storage as well. So I think a really nice little addition. Um, and there you have it, we are done with cleaning the camper van. That took so much longer than I thought it would but I'm really glad we did it because this van was covered in sand, dirt, grass, you name it. Uh, it needed so much extra work, uh, but I'm glad we did it because now it's ready for our next camping trip. I'm really excited about what's to come. I think the more time I spend in this camper van, the more convinced I am that this is the right call to buy it, even though it caused me to ha have two camper vans at once, which was never the plan, simply because this is just like the Nugget, but a little bit better. The fact that we have that little bit extra space, uh, there's a little bit more modern car, or a little bit more modern van underneath us, really just makes this a much more suitable vehicle for the next five or 10 years. I think Nugget really was coming to the end of its useful life simply because the kids are getting bigger, we need a little bit more space, and this really enables us to have everything we need. It, the biggest van I can really probably fit on this driveway as well. Uh, this really just helps um, set us up for what's to come. And I'm so excited for that next camping trip because we're gonna test everything out and see how it works. Uh, see what doesn't work because uh, no van is perfect, but I think it's gonna be a really awesome opportunity for us to uh, look at all the different features and see how they actually work in the real world. Um, Speaking of features, this video gave us the opportunity to look at all the different things that I didn't get a chance to show you on that collection video. I hope you liked the van. Let me know what you think of it. I think this is a really exciting option for us. Um, do you have a Sven head in? Let me know. Don't forget to share some pictures if you do. Uh, and with that, we're at the end of the video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you consider liking and subscribing and I'll catch you down the road.